I put a spell on you. And now you're subscribed. I think I'm gonna stop it there, right? Yeah, I'm working on the cool Halloween intro, bitch. But anyways, you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sebastian. I am definitely in the Halloween spirit. Hocus Pocus. Just honestly, like, I get really highly obsessed with things. Like, always around Halloween, obviously. My, like, Hocus Pocus mania gets, like, really crazy. And, like, I kind of tend to believe that I am Winifred Sanderson. But, of course, I'm not, right? Like, people would argue that I'm not. But, like, low-key, I feel like I am. So anyways, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have some James Charles tea for you. So make sure to sit back, relax, enjoy, and you guys, subscribe. Mwah. So you guys, James Charles, his new video today is actually really funny. He took a lie detector test. Lorray was there and his friends were there and like all these, or like, you know, staff, whatever, slash friends. And um, he took a lie detector test. And the one thing I have to say about James Charles is that I have applauded him for being honest. You know what I mean? I know he's done crazy things in the past, but I feel like lately he is showing a very cool side to him. And I'm actually really enjoying his content. I love that it's not always makeup and he's exploring new ideas and new things. And I really, truly, truly feel like he's growing into a really cool influencer um so one of the first i think it was like the literally the first question um was that if he copied teddy fresh and you launched the sisters of harold classroom collection yes the gals want to know did you actually steal these designs from teddy fresh no that's true oh Period. next question um for his new sisters collection and the lie detector said, no, bitch, he did not copy it. As you guys know, um, is it Ethan? Lord, what is his name from H3? I think it's Ethan, bitch, if it's not, whatever. The H3 guy, you know, they have their merch company. Hilla, you know, she runs it or she designs for it, Teddy Fresh. And I actually have really fucking good designs. Like, if you haven't checked it out, I think you really should, like, if you like to buy merch, bitch, that's really good merch. She's really fucking talented. Uh, so, you know, there was this whole drama with the color blocking and, um, Ethan or H3 guy called out James Charles and they had like little back and forth. So I'm, you know, I'm not surprised James Charles actually like included this in the video. Uh, and you know, he passed the lie detector test. Now, I don't know exactly how, like, how accurate they are but i'm pretty sure they're kind of accurate and you know the thing is like color blocking or is like very from the 90s i remember if you watch like sister act or if you watch like if you watch like a bunch of shit from the 90s you're gonna see a lot of right now is all the styles is very highly 90s influence like i live for it um, so yeah, you guys, he, he admitted to that he did not. He confessed that he, sure, he did not. Um, do they look alike? Yes, they look alike. But like I said, they have the big excuse or the big, you know, the big argument that it is from the 90s. So there, you know, there's not really anything else to talk about. Um, 90s has great style, you guys, like, and it's coming back. It's already here, 90s honestly for me had the coolest style like if you watch clueless or you watch like all these 90 90s movies you see like honestly like style back then was just so fun and i feel like now clothing and like things have become so jaded like for example here in la it's like supreme and all these things and i'm like bitch i go to ross ross is a really cool fashion i mean it's not like really good clothes but like they have really cool stuff and i have a lot of like um they you know what ross does which i love they bring a lot of things that are like hip and then they make it cheap you know what i mean because trends go in and out all the time so it's like i don't have the i don't have money to spend 170 dollars on a shirt that i'm not gonna be able to use you know two months from now but anyways, I'm really not like that. Like, I will use whatever I want to use whenever the fuck I want to use it. 
But like, I also like, I don't see the, in, you know, I don't see the obsession with like standing in line. You know, they stand in line for like four hours to get a damn shirt with the word Supreme on it, bitch. You know what I mean? Anyways, I don't know you guys. That's just my opinion on that. But no shade to anybody that wears it. But I love affordable, cool stuff because you know, if it's more affordable, you can buy more and you know, you can switch it up more and you won't feel bad when you, when you get tired of it and you want to donate it. You know what I mean? This is so off topic. I'm so sorry. Um, anyways, so he did not copy it and he, you know, he did it. So yeah, you guys definitely should check out that video. It's really, really cool. Um, I actually really enjoyed it. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think that he's lying? Do you think they really did know what they were doing copying Teddy Fresh? Or do you think this is just a 90s coincidence? Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much. Take care.